No. Gather around my fellow insignificant creatures. Let me regale you with the tale of Homo sapiens, the mighty species that considered itself the king of the animal kingdom. In the grand tapestry of history, there was a momentous event known as the Dognated Revolution. Picture this. Our ancestors, just the bun of wandering apes with slightly larger brains than their primate cousins. They were roaming the savant, minding their own business when suddenly a miraculous thing happened. We all, not the invention of smartphones or Netflix, but the birth of consciousness. Yes, my friends, it was as if a light bulb flickered on inside their heads. They became self-aware, thinking creatures who could ponder the meaning of life and waste countless hours arguing about reality TV shows. Suddenly, they could communicate using complex language, form communities, and develop integrated social structures. They were no longer just another forgettable species on the planet. They were now the ones who think they are special. But hold on your applause, because with great cognitive power comes great existential responsibility. You see, consciousness wasn't all fun and games. Who are we? Why are we here? And why on earth did we invent Mondays? These perplexing queries haunted our early ancestors and continue to plague us to this day. Even though now we have Google. Our newfound ability to think and reflect also led to some not so great idea. As soon as we discovered our superiority over other creatures, we decided it was perfectly acceptable to dumb and exploit them. Might makes right became our unofficial logo, and poor animals were relegated to the position of two toys, farm equipment 
or the subjects of bizarre scientific experiments because hey who needs empathy when you have opposable thumbs but let's not forget the real game changer of the cognitive revolution the invention of myths oh boy did our ancestors love a good story they concocted elaborate tales to explain the mysteries of the world creation myths gods and goddesses and the stories about heroic beings with aims of steel this myths served as the glue that held societies together providing a common narrative and justifying all sorts of questionable actions like sacrificing virgins or wearing socks with sandals of course let's not ignore the fact that our cognitive abilities also allowed us to develop impressive skills we master the art of agriculture creating vast civilizations and transforming the arts landscape we built towering cities invented an impressive technologies and learned to juggle multiple social media accounts simultaneously saying it means a second pair of hands when you have multitasking skills or like these but amidst all our accomplishments we must admit that we humans have a knack for screwing things up we create powerful empires only to watch them when we are doing the thing for us other only hopperies no way of thinking is even came up with a brilliant idea of dividing ourselves into warring tribes based on imaginary and superficial borders doubt and power shooting our sense in that foot so my friends general movie up the self proclaimed lords of the earth why we do make sense so far and mess we are the species that evolved from in a significant leaps to complex hankers who can send spaceships to the moon and span hours are given with strangers on the internet we 
uh, sign those daily weeks. Keep Bill with us for the app of compassion. Uh, we are an Hannibal of no significance. For the significance we choose to give ourselves. And as we journey through the annals of history, one thing is clear. Our cognitive revolution is an ongoing saga with twists and turns, triumphs and failures, and an unending quest for meaning in a no 